Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of Zoo Exhibit Tours. Usually my tours take place in UK zoos, but recently I took a trip to Germany to visit some German zoos. For today's video I am at Zoo Berlin and I will be touring their brand new predator house named Empire of Cats. Empire of Cats opened earlier this year on the 25th of February and it is home to a wide variety of predator species with most of them being cats. And as a cat lover, this exhibit was the highlight of my trip and goes down as one of my favourite ever zoo exhibits. So, without any further ado, let's begin the tour of Empire of Cats. This is the entrance to Empire of Cats. Sliding doors welcome you into the building and when you enter, you are on a dark path where the many enclosures are your main source of light. One should note that all of the exhibits in Empire of Cats have both indoor and outdoor areas unless stated otherwise. The first enclosure is on the right and it houses a rare Persian leopard named Emil. Zoo Berlin is home to two Persian leopards, Emil the male and Shiva the female. We will see Shiva and Emil later on in the video. A little further up from the leopard enclosure, and on the left side of the path, is the next enclosure. This one is home to the zoo's impressive male Amma tiger, who is named Darius. When continuing up the path, there are multiple brilliant educational elements around you, including screens showing you a cat's skeleton and how it moves. Another great educational element is the silhouettes of a leopard jumping, showing you how far they can jump. Opposite this wall is a small window that gives you a sneak peek into the outdoor Amma tiger enclosure, but we will see more of this later. Past this window is an indoor enclosure for the zoo's dwarf mongooses. These guys live fully indoors, but they have a really nice exhibit. Plus, they get a view of some really awesome big cats. Opposite those dwarf mongooses is the second indoor Persian leopard enclosure. This one is home to Shiva, the female. And positioned just past the dwarf mongooses is another beautifully designed indoor big cat enclosure. This one is home to the zoo's female jaguar named Aloha. The enclosure features a waterfall and a pool with an underwater viewing area as well as multiple logs and rocks. The path now takes you to the right and brings you into a brighter and more open room where you are met with many tropical plants and a large waterfall. To the right of this waterfall is a long window that gives you a wide view of one of the outdoor Persian leopard enclosures. Shiva the female has access to this enclosure.
To get another look at this enclosure, you can follow the path past this window and to the right outside. This small outdoor area of the Empire of Cats exhibit provides views of four outdoor enclosures. Starting on the right side is a wide view of the Persian Leopard enclosure we just saw. This enclosure is on the small side, but Shiva seems to enjoy spending most of her time in here, and you can get great views of her. The enclosure has a great design. After seeing Shiva, you can look into the enclosure just past hers, which is for Emil, the male Persian Leopard. This enclosure seems larger and, like Shiva's enclosure, it has been designed really well. The path then takes you around to the left, where you can look into two enclosures both containing much smaller predators. The first enclosure is home to a Marge and the second enclosure is home to ring-tailed Vontzirras, also known as ring-tailed mongooses. We will meet both of these amazing species later on in the video. The path then takes you back inside of the building, where you can head around the left side of the waterfall and look into an enclosure housing a reptile, the Rhinoceros Iguana. These reptiles are housed fully indoors in a large and beautifully designed enclosure. After them is the entrance to a completely new world. One of the things that makes Empire of Cats so special is that it actually has another exhibit inside it. This exhibit is called Creatures of the Night and is home to a vast array of nocturnal species. These animals are housed fully indoors and their enclosures are almost completely dark which is realistic and immersive. I wasn't able to fully film this area as it was too dark but here is some footage of some of the animals that you can see in Creatures of the Night. Creatures of the Night is home to many other species too, including fennec foxes, Bolivian night monkeys, kinkajous, slow lorises, Malagasy jumping rats, and more. So back out into the light where we left off, and the path continues past the Creatures of the Night entrance and brings you to two large indoor enclosures. These enclosures both house African lions. We will get to properly meet these lions later on. After the indoor line enclosures, the path takes you into another dimly lit hallway with enclosures either side of you. Starting on the left side, there are four decently sized indoor enclosures housing sand cats. I believe that the zoo has two sand cats and they seem to be housed separately, with each of them having access to two indoor enclosures. They also have an outdoor enclosure, which we will see later, as I'm guessing that they get rotated around, to give them both equal access to it. Sand cats are such awesome animals, and I was so happy to find out that they were in the Empire of Cats exhibit. Opposite the four sand cat enclosures are four enclosures for the ring-tailed Vontzirras, the zoo is home to a large number of them, which is great, as they are a really cool and unique species. Thank you. 
After the Sandcats and the Ring-tailed Vontzeras, the path continues and on the path's left side there are multiple enclosures for narrow striped mongooses. On the right corner of the hallway is one of the best, if not the best, enclosure in Empire of Cats. This stunningly designed tropical enclosure is home to a Marge. I believe that the enclosure is home to just one female Marge, but recently a male Marge has been moved from Shalden Zoo to Zoo Berlin, so Zoo Berlin's female will have some company. The Marge enclosure has lots of tropical foliage, logs, a waterfall and a large pool with an underwater viewing area. The pool is home to multiple fish. After the Marge enclosure, you follow the path left into the final hallway of the building. On the left side of the hallway are more enclosures for narrow striped mongooses. And on the right side are multiple enclosures for oncillas. At the end of the hallway is a view into the outdoor Oncilla enclosure. This is the last enclosure that can be viewed from inside the building, but we have many more enclosures to see outside. So, after viewing that enclosure, the path takes you out of the building where you can now view many outdoor predator enclosures. The first few outdoor enclosures can be found just outside of the building and on the left. Here, the first two enclosures are home to narrow striped mongooses, and the enclosure to the right of them is for sand cats. The path then takes you back past the exit of the building and towards two more exhibits either side of the path. On the right side is an outdoor enclosure for red pandas. I believe two red pandas call this enclosure their home. On the left side of the path is a view into the largest enclosure in the Empire of Cats exhibit. This, around 0.4 acre enclosure, is home to the zoo's three African lions named Hannah, Elsa and Matteo. Hannah and Elsa are females and Matteo is a male, and as you can see his beautiful mane is starting to grow. It will take a while before his mane is fully grown and currently he boasts a very snazzy quiff. The path turns left and allows you to view the lion enclosure from pretty much all the way around. You can view the enclosure from either glass windows or open air views.
you can get an awesome view of the lion enclosure from the top of Aquarium Berlin. The enclosure is very similar to an African lion's wild savanna habitat and has been designed really well. After the lions, the path continues forwards and takes you to the next outdoor big cat enclosure. This tall and long enclosure is home to the zoo's jaguar named Aloha. We saw her indoor area earlier. This outdoor enclosure is a decent size for one jaguar and it has lots in it including logs, rocks, dense foliage and a pool. Jaguars are one of the few cats that like water, so a pool is great enrichment for them. The next outdoor big cat enclosure can be found just up the path. This large enclosure is the one that we got a preview of earlier in the video. It is home to the zoo's male ammo tiger named Darius. The enclosure is in the style of an island, with a large body of water around it. I actually had the privilege of seeing Darius wading in the water on one of my visits. As well as the large pool, the enclosure has many other features including very dense foliage, waterfalls, rocks and a cave. Like the lions, this enclosure can be viewed almost all the way around from either glass windows or open air views. Now to see the rest of the outdoor enclosures in the Empire of Cats exhibit, you follow the path past the exhibit's entrance. Past the entrance, a smaller path takes you to a viewing area that gives you a view of Emile the Persian Leopard's enclosure. We saw this enclosure earlier on in the video, but from a different angle. This angle gives you a front view of the enclosure. I really like the rock work and use of terrain in this enclosure, and the pool makes it even better. As well as those things, the enclosure also has dense foliage and lots of logs. Just past Emile the Persian Leopard's enclosure is another outdoor enclosure, and this one is for the Margay. The small path then rejoins onto the main one, and it takes you past the final exhibits in the Empire of Cats exhibit. This enclosure, as well as this one, are both home to on Sillers. And to the right of them is the red panda enclosure that we saw earlier, however this time we're looking at it from the opposite side. And that is everything about the incredibly large, modern and diverse Empire of Cats exhibit at Zoo Berlin. This exhibit is a huge upgrade from the zoo's previous predator house. Make sure you stay tuned for more zoo exhibit tours at Zoo Berlin, as well as Tierpark Berlin and Zoo Leipzig. Thank you so much for watching.